hey how's it going everybody welcome back to the channel and today well today was one of those freaking roller coasters of a day where we started off getting completely wrecked i was actually awake when this was happening i was gonna record a video but i was like ah let's just see what happens throughout the day i went back to sleep i was looking at the um the markets right the indices and i saw that the nasdaq was getting really close to going under ten thousand dollars i think it it was at 10,050 or something like that. And then it slowly started going back up throughout the day. Let's actually look at it right now. QQQ real quick. QQQ, let's see the numbers, right? We saw it almost breaking down below 250. It went to 254, right? 254, and then it started slowing, going back up which was crazy i just started seeing i think i saw a shopify at under 30 24 dollars i saw it under 24 dollars i was like oh damn if i had some money i would have bought some right there and i was just looking at these stocks i'm like palantir i mean palantir still seven uh 760s i think at one point it was lower than that did we see about yeah we saw palantir in the 60s at one point so palantir hasn't hit any lows yet charge point going down to the 12s i mean that's a pretty good point to, uh to be buying i don't know how low i think uh, charge point went into the eight dollar range before yeah it was down in the eights i don't know if we'll ever revisit that but that was a good opportunity to buy a ttcf huh, ttcf just been getting wrecked look at the, how low it's been going down Shh, my god how low did it has it gone what's the lowest point 425 almost it's getting close it's basically a penny stock already uh paypal i i see paypal i think in the 60s before right we were seeing this baby in the 60s yep in the 60s iipr i think we saw this one in the 80s before yeah uh, i like IP, iipr a lot another one that really started getting right was amazon amazon's been getting freaking wreck dude 105 105 that's wild what's the lowest point that it's gone to Ooh, maybe what let's look at the 52 week high on this one oh 52 week low sorry almost under 100 bucks so what is it at right now 112 it still need a little bit more to go i mean a little bit of, like for me i was like oh yes let's see if we can go under a ten thousand for the nasdaq going to the nines i think that would be pretty cool and it just didn't do it right it didn't do it and then the market rallied the market rallied uh, another one that i really am uh, interested in looking at is tesla let's see what tesla did i mean still getting right i want to see tesla under 200 i really do but today is over now it is basically earnings so we might actually just start seeing a little bit of a rally to be honest i don't think that the economy is still breaking i mean it's slowly cracking down but i don't think we've hit it hard we haven't seen unemployment numbers get hit hard i think um after maybe next year i think next year we might start seeing numbers start get start to get hit hard cpi like i said it was worse than expected i think 0.1 percent worse so it's like whatever right it wasn't that bad i mean the market has been going down just the portfolio has been going down basically for the past a past month just straight down so it's like unless the cpi rating was going to be horrible the market was basically pricing worst case scenario unless something stupid happened like we go we miss expectations by half a percent or even a full percent then i think we might have seen the beginning of the day just continue out through the whole day we might have just stayed down that low but i mean we've been going down for so long it's like finally we see a little bit of a green day it's kind of like an anticipation um kind of like we uh um so, so sell the rumor or what, what is that saying that how does it go buy the rumor sell the news type of thing where we were just basically selling off all throughout until this day the cpi day and then boom it happens now we start buying because 
it wasn't as bad as we expect. But still, the inflation is not going down fast. It might take a long time. And what it, and it's, what it seems is that they're going to have to keep increasing interest rates for a while more. And because it's sticky, man, it's just sticking, sticking a lot harder than a lot of people are expecting. And if they keep increasing interest rates more and more and more, oof, and then we're going to start seeing demand go down. Once we start seeing demand go down and inventories go up, boom, prices are going to go down. The uh, unemployment is going to go up. Then we're going to start seeing the numbers. So we're going to start seeing the numbers, guys. The numbers, Mason. The numbers, remember. And I, I like I said, I don't think it's this earnings is going to reflect that yet. I think maybe we're going to have to wait another, next, maybe like another one or two more earnings uh, seasons, uh, a couple more quarters before we start seeing that. But for me, I of course, like I said, I didn't buy anything, even though I really, really want to. I really want to buy. I really wanted to buy some Shopify. 20, 23 bucks, man. Come on. Come on. $23? Come on, man. Even Neo. What price did Neo go down to? Did it go to the 11s, dude? Did it go to the freaking 11s? It did. Oh, my God. eleven ninety five. Really? Man, I was going through my price targets of 9 bucks. I'm like, at $9, I don't care what I have to do. I'm going to buy at least 100 shares of Neo just to bring my average cost down. Because my average cost is $45. If I can, if I can buy like 100 shares of Neo for, for $9, I can hopefully bring that $45 down to under 40 But even then, that's still pretty freaking high. And my equity and all my holdings just been going, getting wrecked and wrecked and wrecked. Like I said, the goal for me, pay down margin, pay down debts. After that is everything that I deposit goes straight into st these stocks and a couple ETFs and even some bigger companies like Tesla and Microsoft and, and a couple of the chips. Uh, that's the plan for me. Oh, man. Oh, freaking wild day today, guys. Wild day. Look at the freaking swing that I've seen. I was down almost 10% in a freaking day. That's wild. That is wild, man. But still, we haven't hit. We haven't got no margin call, which is good. Um, but yeah, that's a little quick update for you guys. Wild day today. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow, if not the next day. And peace out, guys. See ya.